Sorry, what was that? I didn't have my ears turned on. What's going on everyone? Back with another episode of Stuff and Things. It is time for another 5 Minute Friday video and this one should be fairly easy. There isn't a whole lot to talk about here. I've gotten a ton of questions about the ear pro that I use pretty much every single time that I shoot. You see them every single Sunday gun day, but I've never made a dedicated video on them, so that will be this today. The ear protection that I've been using for the past couple of years now have been the Peltor Sports. They are, of course, over the ear and they are electronic. You can pick these up for roughly $40, actually a little bit under $40 right now on Amazon. So they are relatively cheap, but at the same time, there are a lot of nice features that I like about these things. So let's take a little bit of a closer look. The Peltor Sports feature a 21 decibel noise reduction rating, and I've had no problem shooting pretty much any gun with these Ear Pro on, anything from a handgun to shotguns and even some big large caliber rifles. There's an easy access external battery door and these things run on two AAA batteries. The headband is made of this nice, almost faux leather type of material. There is a little bit of cushion underneath and obviously I wear these things for long periods of time and I have absolutely no complaints about comfort. They are a fairly low profile cup design so they do sit nice and close to your head. And like you see every week, I do wear these things while wearing hats and sunglasses at the same time so there is a little bit of room in there but I still really have no complaints about the comfort. There is a single on, off, and volume control on the right side of the cup. This is how you actually turn the EarPro on and then adjust the volume accordingly. You could wear these things in the off position or you could crank them up and hear a lot more of your surroundings while still having hearing protection. On the outside there are also durable recessed microphones with little wind covers over them. This is nice because it will prevent any damage from banging your head around into anything. And it will also reduce wind noise which I don't really have a huge problem with when using these. There's also a 3.5 millimeter audio input jack, which is compatible with anything like an iPod or your cell phone. You could also run a two-way radio through this, but that is actually a feature that I have never really used. And then probably one of my favorite features is that there is a four hour auto shutoff and a low battery warning. And that four hour shutoff has definitely saved me a lot of times because I don't always remember to turn these things off when I'm done shooting. So this is what the EarPro look like on my head. I don't know why I really have to show you guys this since you see them literally every single week here on the channel. These are the lowest model of the Peltor Sports. There is also a 100, 300, and 500 models available. Each step up you go, you get a little bit more out of the actual hearing protection. For example, this model and the 100s, you cannot actually replace the cups around the ears. That is one thing that I would like, but the 300s and the 500s, you can replace that for like a gel replacement or something similar. If you bump all the way up to the 500, you also get Bluetooth connectivity, which I personally do not need at all. However, it would be pretty cool to kind of answer a phone call if I'm out on the range just by kind of pressing on the side. Now you guys know I've been wearing these for a very long time and the reason I haven't upgraded is simply because if it's not broke, don't fix it. I have also tested and worn some other very expensive, very high quality ear protection. And one thing that I can say is that I am actually a fan of the way that these things sound. If you are familiar with Electronic Ear Pro, obviously when you turn up and down the volume, it kind of changes the way that you hear your surroundings. I can run these things all the way down. Hopefully I'm not screaming now because I can't really hear a whole lot. But I can run these things down really low and have some very nice hearing protection. But at the same time, if I want to hear my surroundings a little bit more, I can crank these up. And then now I can have a full-blown conversation at a relatively normal talking volume. This is really nice for training events when you have to be wearing ear protection but someone like an instructor is talking. And it could also be used in like a hunting situation. When I crank these things all the way up, I can hear stuff that you normally don't really pick up on just by using your naked ears. Everything is sort of amplified but it's not to a point where it sounds artificial. Like I said, I have tested some very expensive ear pro in the past and once you crank it up a certain way, it almost gets like tinny. It's not a very good sound. Maybe it's just because I'm used to these, but for being a very cheap pair of hearing protection, these definitely sound most natural to me. I've used other companies like Howard and Walker, and I just am not a big fan of like the whole sound profile, if you want to call it that. But of course, like everything that I talk about on my channel, it is all personal opinion. That is just the way that I feel about these EarPro. They're inexpensive, they work, they sound good, and I've been using them for a long time now. I've only replaced the batteries once, actually. When you take these things off, you can also kind of tuck them up into the headband and then they stay nice and compact. You can squeeze them in any range bag or backpack. And if you have the opportunity, I would recommend trying as many pairs as possible until you find some that actually fit your price point and fit your kind of ear type. 
There are so many different options to choose from out there. Obviously, over ear are not gonna be for everyone. I have some things in my safe that you really have to get your ear down on like a buffer tube or something to actually shoot accurately. So sometimes I'll just throw in foam earplugs. But yeah, for the most part, these are what I use every Sunday gun day, every time I'm out at the range or doing anything where it is very loud. And for about 38 bucks on Amazon right now, maybe this would be a good option for some of you guys out there. So that's it, that was a quick one. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this five minute Friday. If you did, slap a like on it, I would appreciate it very much. If you have any questions on these ear pros specifically, let me know in the comments down below and I will try to answer them as best as possible. Now starting tomorrow, I have a pretty cool announcement coming to the channel, so definitely stay tuned for tomorrow's video. There is going to be a lot of content coming your guys' way, so hopefully you're stoked on that because I definitely am. Now if you're new to the channel, consider clicking subscribe. Like I said, a lot of new content is coming soon and that's all that I had for today. So as always, thank you guys for watching and I will talk to you in the next one.